Hey yo, what's up everybody? Good day to you ladies and gents. Welcome back to Matrix Investing, the number one YouTube channel that is dedicated towards giving you education based on investing in capital markets. Now in this video, we're going to look at the working capital ratio, what it's all about, the advantages and challenges of using it as an investor, as well as how you can use it on a company that is actually listed in the Darcelum Stock Exchange. Now, if this is the very first time you're watching our videos, we also advise you to check out our previous videos so that you can have a better understanding of what we're teaching. If you also find this video of much help, we then ask that you help us out by liking this video, subscribing to our channel in case you haven't, and hitting that notification bell so that YouTube gets to notify you each time we upload videos into the platform. Now with that said, ladies and gents, let's get down to business. So starting off by understanding what the working capital is, and the working capital is the difference between a company's current assets and current liabilities. The larger a company's working capital, the better, as it shows that it has the ability to pay out all its current liabilities and still have enough current assets to finance the business's operations and expenses on a day-to-day -day basis. So information about the current assets and liabilities are found in the statement of financial position. So if you'd like to get into depth with the current assets and current liabilities, knowing what it's all about, the components of the statement of financial position, there's a video we've made concerning all this. So feel free to watch it. The link is in the description below. So therefore, if the working capital is large, it's a good sign that the business has very little short-term debt to pay at that particular time but this also indicates that there is enough capital available to finance daily operations even after all the current liabilities have already been paid which is also a good quality of a company that deserves investing in the stock market so however if you do want to understand how large the company's current assets are in comparison to its current liabilities, you have to use the working capital ratio, also known as the current ratio. And this ratio is obtained by taking the current assets and dividing it by the current liabilities. So the result you should get here should be at least equivalent to one and greater to show that the company has got the ability to pay all its short-term debt using the value of current assets available. Or simply, that just shows that the value of current assets is larger than the value of current liabilities. So this ratio shows the ability of a company when paying its short-term debt that is due within a year by using its current assets. And if that business can remain with enough current assets to continue running the business. Therefore, if this ratio has brought out a result that is equivalent to one, that means that the current assets and current liabilities are equal. So therefore, the business could have the ability to pay out all its current liabilities, but couldn't have enough working capital to be used in financing its daily operations. It's just simple. If, if you take the value of current assets, and divided by the value of current liabilities and the answer you get is one that means that the value of current assets and current liabilities are the same now if they are the same and say you're to take the difference then if it is a one point something that means that there's very little working capital left but if it was equivalent to one that means that the working capital you get is a zero which means that from a from a scale of zero to 0 0.9 I really don't think that that is enough working capital that should be available in the business in the case that all the other current liabilities have been paid for and that that zero that scale from 0 to 0 0.9 is satisfactory to run a business's daily operations. But if the result is greater than one, that is example two and beyond, this would mean that the current assets are say two times larger than the current liabilities therefore even if the current liabilities are already paid for the business will still have enough working capital in operating the business say the value of current assets was two and that of current liabilities is one the difference two minus one which is one as the working capital would remain which would be enough to operate the business 
that is say the scale if the scale of working capital was greater or equal to one that is kind of satisfactory when it comes to running the daily operations of a business in the case that you've cleared out all the other current liabilities with the existing current assets a company with a ratio that is less than one in normal cases doesn't have working capital at hand to pay its short-term debt if the company was obligated to pay such debts at that particular period of time therefore such a company has a negative working capital and companies with such situations don't deserve investments because they show a large amount of short-term liabilities and a poor ability to pay such debts using current assets so advantages of using the current or working capital ratio the first advantage is that it helps us understand the ability of a company to deal with short-term debt therefore by understanding this you as an investor can identify a company with less risk when considering debt therefore simplifying the process of identifying investment opportunities that are available in the dar Salaam stock exchange the disadvantage behind using this ratio is that it brings about the problem of trying to identify the ease behind the company paying off its debt when there is current assets that are more difficult to liquidate to cash so you have to understand that when paying for such short-term debt there are some current assets such as inventory which require to be liquidated to cash that is such inventory needs to be sold in exchange for cash and then pay for such debt therefore there are situations where a business could have a large value of current assets which require liquidation and the liquidation process could be difficult for such assets as it is tough to sell them in exchange for cash they could delay payment for their debts to the business which makes it difficult to understand whether the business could either have a ease and easy or a hard time in paying its current liabilities when that time were to come therefore ladies and gents this is the formula to calculating the working capital ratio also known as the current ratio we take the current assets and divide it by the current liabilities so let's apply this ratio on a company that is listed in the Dar Islam stock exchange so here we all are ladies and gents this is the statement of financial position for the company and we're going to be looking at the working capital ratio or the current ratio as of 2019 but before that i would simply like to start by showing you guys how we can uh, calculate the working capital ratio so we all know that for us to calculate it we simply have to take the total current assets right over there and we're going to have to subtract that from the current liabilities which is way down here so starting off with the, the total current assets which are valued at 70 billion 363 million 516,000. We're going to subtract that by 116 billion 495 million 252,000. And the answer we're going to get is a negative 46 billion 131 million 736,000. So we can already see that the working capital here is a negative, and that is not a good indicator. That indicates that this business for starters has got way more current liabilities than current assets the value of current liabilities is large and its ability to pay off all these current liabilities is simply just pathetic so we've already figured out how we can calculate the working capital what we're going to do next is calculate the working capital ratio of which we're just going to take this figure again the total current assets which is 70 billion 360 three million five hundred and sixteen thousand and we're going to divide that by one hundred and sixteen billion four hundred and ninety five million two hundred and fifty two thousand and the results we're going to get there is a zero point six and for starters that is below the result of one so that simply just means that the value of current assets is smaller than the value of current liabilities that's one two by seeing this 0 0.6 right here this just means that the business cannot pay for all its current liabilities using using its existing current assets that's two and three say the business were to pay off its current liabilities using 
its current assets and let's say some of its non-current assets that is if the business were required to liquidate them and use that money to pay off this there wouldn't be any working capital so then that means that the business would lock the funds that would be required to run the daily operations of the business so with that said ladies and gents thank you so 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 much for watching this video to the very end if this video has been useful to you we then ask that you help us by hitting the thumbs up button you know liking this video subscribing to our channel and hitting that notification bell so that youtube gets to notify you each time we'll upload more videos like these into the platform share these videos to your buddies sharing is caring and knowledge is power so that they can also benefit from this video just like you if you're on social media platforms that is instagram facebook and twitter don't forget to check us out there our account name is matrix investing and the links to our social media accounts are in the description below we provide content related to investing in the tanzanian capital markets on a daily basis so don't forget to follow like share and comment if you also have questions and opinions to contribute please be feel free to do so on the comment section or dm us on our social media accounts we're only a dm away so anyway thank you all so so much and have a great day